Rolling. You got me rolling. Hey, then. Is that how it goes? Good. You see me riding dirty. You see me riding dirty. Ready? Yes. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, everybody. I am Steph. I'm Kim. And today on Taste of Boy, I'm so excited. <laughs> She was very excited. I mean, because, I am too, but yeah. Because we are doing Singapore snacks today. Mm -hmm. I, as if you guys don't know, I am from <laughs> Singapore. Before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to Mark Yang from Shook Last Year at Sea Shop, who specifically curated this content of childhood Singaporean snacks for us. Yes. Good try. Thank so, you yeah. so much, Mark. Okay, so my all time favorite snack that I will always get as a kid <laughs> or as a teenager is the BB snacks. This is very similar to a lot of the ones that we have here, like the um, Japanese ones. Mm. Um, but for some reason, I don't know, they just make me feel very happy. And they're usually very cheap when you buy them. You can buy them one packet at a time. So as a kid, you're like, I just want to buy one. Cute. Is that the one that you would get the most um, most often from yeah. the corner store? What do you do? You call them corner stores or stalls? Mama shops. Mama shops. Oh, so cute because it's mom and pop shops, and you just call them mama shops. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, we call them mama shops. Let me see. Do you usually eat them one at a time, or do you? Just, I mean, like, if throw you, there's not a lot in one, so I usually would savor them. They're just very simple snacks. They're like mildly salty. There's not a lot of flavor to them, but you just want to keep eating them. They have a little bit of seasoning though. It's different than what I expected. They don't, they have shrimp flavoring? Wheat flour, vegetable oil, salt, sugar, chili powder, spices, and sunset yellow. I guess it's coloring. Yeah. Coloring, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just really like it. Yeah, they're good. Those are very good. I like those too. So, so sweet potato crisps. She just picked one that I, I've never tried before. Actually, I've never seen that. It's from Malaysia. It's from Malaysia. So Singapore and Malaysian snacks are very very similar to each other. Most of them are crossovers. Mm -hmm. I would say, um, I would da I dare not say that these are only Singaporean. I think it's both. Well, you often in that region a lot of shared snacks yeah. too, right? Yeah. Oh, they're like crisps. That's perfect. Oh, okay. You just have this one. I feel like we're doing communion. <laughs> it does look. It's because it's wafer thin, yeah. I know. <laughs> All right, sorry to Beep. Catholics. Mmm. 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 Mmm, this is good. I haven't oh, never I had like... this before. You feel sad about that now, don't I do. you? I do. Missed out on my childhood. These are delicious. I would definitely things. look for these. The funny thing is the little symbol. I'll try and show it. Almost looks like the little Pringles guy. Maybe that's where they get there. Oh yeah. These are really good though. So good. Oh wait, forgot to rate this 10. <laughs> I forgot that's to rate this 10. <laughs> yeah, I actually would probably give this a 10. I mean, this is solid. I really like this. Ooh. That one I think is probably like an eight for me. It's really good. Um, you don't have to eat it. No, yeah, no, I'll let you have it. No, it's good. I like it. It's just, um, especially now that I've had this, I'm like, it oh, doesn't compare really. So happy. Okay. I mean, it looks like every other cheese ring, but, um, I don't remember how it tastes like. So let's see. But you did eat those going Oh yeah. I just okay. don't, don't think, I, I don't, I don't think that I, I would buy them on a regular basis. But you basis. don't generally, cheese snacks isn't your go-to anyway though. Did I already show? Sorry. Cut. You did sort of, but you don't generally go for cheese snacks though. Yeah, I do. Since when? Mm. You never buy cheese snacks. Okay, a little stale, but. Unless that's supposed to be the texture. Actually, I do remember now. They have a, they have a um, sweetness to them. Mm -hmm. I do remember these. I oh, yeah. I counting them back. They're made with corn. Oh, yeah. And no, they're not still. They're meant to be like that. That's what I thought. It feels like the texture is. These are good. Taking me back home. They're actually 
quite sweet. I like them. Corn grits, cheese powder, vegetable oil, sugar, salt, MSG. Oh yeah, flavor enhancer. That's why it tastes mm. good. Wonderful. Okay, I would give that a eight and a half. Yeah, I'll go the same because I like it better than the first one, but it's definitely not as good as sweet potato. Okay. Bop oh. Fish maruco. She picked another one that I've never tried before. Or seen oh, before. am I? Sorry. It's okay. This one, also from Malaysia. It kind of is fish. Oh, it's like little crackers. They, they look like little fish scales. They seem a little familiar, but... You think they're going to taste similar? No. Good. I like it. They're good. But they're not familiar to me. These are good. I like these. This is, I like this. I still like these better than the sticks, actually. I like the sticks. I just like these better, I think. Okay, fine. Seven. I'll do eight and a half. Okay. Singapore Hu Ten. I think this is, oh, chili tapioca. Mm. I, I always thought that this snack was a very auntie snack. <laughs> You don't remember eating it when you were young? I remember seeing it around and I eat it once in a while, but I don't think it was something that I would choose to buy. Um, mm. Maybe because it's chilly. Ooh, smell it. Now though, because I am an old auntie. <laughs> <laughs> we're not old aunties. It smells good. I'm excited for this one. Oh, heck yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. I yes. do remember that flavor of it. I think I enjoy it now as an adult. More. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is good. Mmm. It is so good. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I don't think we can get this here, so I want to make it last, but I literally could eat this whole thing right now. What's your ranking on this one? Nine and a half. Um, so I actually good. think this is a ten. Which means I really like this, but this one might jump down to nine and a half. Well, this they is can my both be so tens. No, that's not how it no works. No discrimination with spicy food and non-spicy food. No, I just like this one better. That's okay, why I'm saying fine. it's a ten for me. Look, lady, I know how my scale works. I'm sorry to downgrade you. Five point. That's okay. Five, five. You have my love. Let's do this one. Are you happy? Yeah. Sweet fish sticks. Um, are they fish or cuttlefish? The... Jellyfish. Jellyfish. When you go to small little mama shops or papa shops, um, <clears throat> they have these in big containers and you can just buy one. Oh, they're very stuck together. Um, just pick it up. Okay. Go eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we will. I was just trying to... Bite it. Or just take a piece off. I have this weird thing about pointy stuff. <clears throat> yum, yum, yum. It tastes like I thought it was going to taste. They're a little stale. Confirm. Yeah. Guaranteed. Chop. Because they're... I mean, I'm not surprised. It has sugar, excuse me. It has sugar on it, so I'm not surprised that it's a little stale. You're supposed to be a little bit more chewy than this. Mm. It tastes like fish sticks. Fish. Yeah. So. <laughs> For me, they're like a seven. I would give them a seven too. Yeah. Okay. Fish stick fish balls. An actual fish ball. Wait, why does it feel good? And it's going to be crunchy. Bite it. <laughs> Why do you put whole things in your mouth? Oh. Do you remember these? Mm hmm. I don't remember being them. I don't remember them being so hard though. But yes, I do remember them. I don't like it as much as I used to like it, so I would give it about a five. To me, it's like a seven. Okay, like good. <clears throat> Polar snack. 
cola snack. Yeah. I do remember these. I they they just look like them. animal crackers. Like that we have here. Are these, do you remember if they're sweet? I think they are sweet. Because they look like they're, like, we have. Sweet, savory. They never used to be this confusing. It's not sweet. It almost tastes like a rice cracker, but it's not. Oh, it's potato starch and wheat flour. When you're sick and you need just like a little something, to me they're like just water crackers you get. We, using the communion saltine reference crackers? earlier, they're not like saltine crackers because I think those have a little more flavor. They're just, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, it's not, they don't taste bad. It's just, they're just very one note, right? I would say I would give them like a five. Yeah, I'll do five too. One, one. These are good. They're rice crackers. We know this because we have variations of this in mm -hmm. our supermarkets here and we buy them very often. Yep. Um, they're rice crackers. There's, it's savory, but then there is a sweetness on the outside and it's crunchy. It's like a, it's like a cracker. It's like sweet soy sauce on the outside. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a rice cracker. These are, Cheers. these are really good. If you've never had these, I highly recommend Oh, uh, these are stale. Oh. Uh, They're very stale. When they're not stale, they're very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I like them when we get here better. Yeah, me too. They have that like bite back. They're supposed to be very crisp. Mm. So on a good day, <laughs> I would give them about eight and a half. Yeah, agreed. Let's, let's do the Milo Nuggets. Okay. This is the one that I said I thought pro um, probably is also in like Australia. I think they're in many different countries. Milo, um, I grew up with Milo as a drink. It's, uh, it's considered an energy drink. I remember during um, sports drink. day. Isn't it malt beverage? It's like well, oval because it's, and Milo. But because it's like um, there's milk in it. So I think it comes across as an energy drink for children. Um, we when we have like sports days or what you what do you call them here? PA days is it? Um, Canada and the U.S. call them differently. In like the U.S. we call days? them field day. Field days. Um, as as kids, here. they would have the Milo trucks come by, and then after your run or after your exercise, they you just have little cups of Milo, and they're all great. The idea or they of give having you... milk after being hot and running around repulses me, but I'll be honest. But usually, it's either that or they give you those in packets where it's all very cold. So on a very hot yeah. weekday afternoon after a run, and as a nine-year-old to be given a cold Milo, I mean, come on. I get you. I just, dairy and heat don't go well in my mind, to be honest. Okay. Ooh, there's like a wafer inside. It's malt. I love it. They're like whoppers or Maltesers. Mm, chocolate. But softer. These are good. Very good. I kind of prefer these to the drink now. <laughs> mm. Mm, nine. Yeah, agreed. So, magic pops. Popping candy. Plenty of them here in North America. Mm -hmm. Pop Just a different variation. Different. And unfortunately, this is the grape flavor. And if you haven't seen our other videos, I don't like artificial grape at all. It's not the worst grape flavor, but yeah, I definitely don't like grape. What is the fascination with popping candy, guys? Oh, I love it. You don't like it that much. I like popping candy a lot. Why? It's fun. I know you don't care for it. It's I like, like it. It's weird. I mean, I, I like it. I like the artificial grape flavor, so I will give this an eight. As a, as a candy, I give it an eight. With the artificial grape. Is the execution grape. very good? <laughs> um, I like pop rock candy, so. That grape is not that bad, so for me it's a seven. Ooh, it doesn't feel hard, that's nice. This is Golden Monkey Milk Candy. It's pretty much the white rabbit candy. Yeah. I don't I don't ever remember it being this Golden brand. Monkey. We had this in the previous video, Chinese New Year goodies. Um Ooh, these aren't hard like I expected them. Mm -mm. White rabbit should taste better though. 
This does not taste like white rabbit. No. Nope. It tastes like milk candy, but it's not as good. I'm a bit disappointed. The, yeah, the wax flavor is a little strong. Mm. The milk flavor is stronger. The texture is not good. It's kind of a little grainy. It's not a cohesive pairing of everything. I give this a six. Yeah. I'll Sorry, guys. Are you ready for the finale? Yeah, I don't mind. I think <clears throat> you mind more than I mind. It's a durian milk candy. For those of you that don't know what durian is, it is considered the king of fruit and you either love it or you hate it mm. because it smells to some people like sewers. Vomit. It vomit. Vomit. Smell. Yeah. yeah. To others, it smells like vanilla. So it's kind yeah. of like a... It's like cilantro. Some people think it smells like soap. Some people think it smells like the most amazing thing in the world. That's a DNA thing. <laughs> Maybe this is DNA thing too. We should ask 23andMe. Tell us, 23andMe, whether there is any... Okay? Okay. Yeah. What would you describe the flavor as? For me, I think it has... Ooh, like the a... smell! Yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell bad to me. I think the flavor has like this uh, nuttiness to it. I don't know how else to describe it, aside from like a, a creamy nuttiness, which there, sounds, I know, repulsive, but it I think it tastes good. You know what? It smelled a bit like cream of corn. Yeah, I mean, I like this candy. Do so. you agree? No. The the actual fruit itself, you're not allowed to carry them, carry them into public transportation in Singapore because it will or stink up, and stink stuff, up yeah. everything. It's a very, very strong smell. The fruit looks like that, exactly like that. So you eat the inside, the yellow part of it, and it's very mushy and you get it all over your hands, but you eat it with your hands, and then you throw away a seed in the middle. and But then you take the husk and you put water and salt and you wash your hand with that to get the smell away. It's fascinating, it's, right? It's really cool. Okay, ready? Pink. Oh, it's soft. It's a milk candy. Oh, for some reason I read that as hard candy, but that makes sense now looking at it. It's good. I like that. I like durian, so... Yeah. I know plenty of people went like it. This actually... I thought this was the one we had before, but that was the hard candy. I haven't had this one. This candy is really good, though. You wanna make out after this? No. Yes. All right. Mine are easy. So we're gonna rate our favorites. My favorite. I mean, I, I cannot. I cannot. I have to because this is my childhood. All right. I already told everybody what my number one number two is. My number one definitely is this. This is bomb. This is so good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That's my number two. And my number two is the sweet potato. That's my crisp. number three. I'm gonna be very sad when I finish this tiny little packet. Mm. BB. The more you eat these, the better they are. Try it mm. again. <laughs> give me more. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're trying to bite it. I was trying to give you the whole thing. Good. Can't you admit that that tastes better than this? I love them both. Okay, that's fine. I'll allow it. I also understand the nostalgic aspect of snacks and what it kind of brings to you. Are there any are there any Singaporean snacks here that you recall that we didn't try? I feel like there's got to be some that you so remember. So many. Yeah. So many. Um, Maybe when we get a chance in this world to go back to Singapore, we'll bring a whole bunch back that you kind of handpick yourself. We'll have to do a part two of the Singapore stuff then. Yes, when yeah. we get to go home. Maybe we can do it in Singapore too if we're there. Ooh. We could do some hawker center. Oh, God, no. Okay, oh. we can't talk about this. Or you and I are both going to get sad and very hungry. No. Oh. That wraps up today's edition of Taste the World. Did we even do that at the start? We did. This wraps up today's edition of Taste the World. <laughs> um, Singapore edition, mm -hmm. part one out of many to come. Oh, I'm sure. Um, if you have any other ideas or you want us to try snacks or foods or cuisines from different parts of the world, let us know in the comment section and also mm -hmm. where to get them because we don't know. Um, yes. If any one of you out there that are restaurant owners that want to sponsor us, you just... Steph's love language is food, by the way. <laughs> Feed her, she will love you. Yes, yes. No, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. 
Um, and please, please, please tell us if, if we tried anything that you've had and you really like as well, tell us, um, also, if you know where to find this in Canada, let me know. I will be going on Google to find it. Um, I'm now officially obsessed. Maybe that's a good thing that I don't know where it is here because that is tasty. Thank you again to Shoklas, yeah? Yes, thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. Peace, Peace. out. Bye. Ciao. Bye. 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 Is that it? That's it. Okay. Okay. Don't tell me what to do.